I've seen the new Shintakai makeup collection for fall. And after we talk about the new release, I'll tell you what I have decluttered from Shantikai. I had a lot of products and I decluttered almost all of them and kept only what I think is the best of Shantikai. And I'll tell you at the end of the video. Right now we will discuss about the new release. Let's talk about the quads. Uh, I see two quads. So one is called Black Jaguar and the other one is Cougar. And then there's a couple of lip chic from the Black Jaguar collection and another couple of lip products from the Cougar collection. I like the Cougar one, that is the warmer one. I find it very sophisticated. So with Chantekai, I'm always intrigued by the color combos. I like the aesthetics. Whatever is sandy brown with a touch of gray, taupe and sandy browns are my favorite colors. I find them sexy and classy. So this is a classy quad and I will propose you a comparison, a side by side with the Charlotte Tilbury, the sophisticated quad. And it's not a case that that quad has been called sophisticated. I think these are very classic colors. So this is a, a very office appropriate color combo. So this is a combo that attracts me. I still have one of these quads by Shantakai. They started releasing these quads. It was in 2020 and there was that Ami Bird collection with the two quads and I have the warm one. At least for the Ami Bird collection there were some really special duochromes in the quad. While here I don't see really special colors, I, I, I don't believe there are duochromes or at least from the swatches they're not advertised as duochromes. So I think it's more a conservative quad, still stunning. I propose you this comparison with the Charlotte Tilbury Sophisticate quad that is all matte. Instead, this Chantecaille, it has at least two shimmers. But I propose this comparison because you may have that quad. And I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury quad because still I believe that these colors, I mean, if you have a not an extensive collection, but a basic collection with neutrals, you may already have them. And there's another consideration that these are edited, photoshopped images. So I don't know if the quad in real life will have these attractive tones. I don't know, they may be more dull, Mm, who knows in real life what they look like. So another consideration that I would like to do is I, I want to purchase this because of the size. I don't like the packaging. I find it juvenile. The lid of these quads is a little bit sticky. I, I don't like that feeling. It's not normal plastic. It is something mm, the the printing with the animals is uh, sticky. I don't like this packaging and moreover all this wasted space I mean the quantity you get with this quad is uh, so tiny when I purchased my quad I promised myself not to buy other quads in the future because I, I felt a, a bit cheated by the quantity I got yeah I, I don't think the formula here is uh, so expensive to justify that amount of money. Uh, I think that the biggest portion of the price is not because of the products itself, but more because of the creation of the packaging. The idea behind that, you know, people from the family, from the Shantekai family, it's one of the son of the founder that goes to these wild exotic places to take pictures that end up being the pictures on top of the packaging. So you ultimately fund these business traveling, but I, I don't want to <laughs> support them, you know. So it, it's more the creative process behind these products that I think determines the high price. And I prefer products where at least I feel 
I'm paying more for the innovation of the product itself. Just to make an example, I uh, recently purchased and, and haven't received yet the Isamea uh, palette. And that palette, I think it has some innovation. It deserved um, to be supported. I'm curious to see the formula and the color combo in real life. With this Shantekai quad, although it's a, I'm attracted to the aesthetics, uh, I'm talking about the color combo itself. I'm pretty sure I have these colors. I'm pretty sure the formula is ordinary, like I experienced with my quad I purchased uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, I don't think I um, can justify to spend my hard-earned money on this quad. And then I'll talk now about the product I've decluttered from Shantekai. Maybe it can be useful for you, because now there's a sale, and so you can decide what to skip from the sale. I uh, purchased the butterfly blush and I found that mediocre. Th the formula was not anything special. I didn't enjoy the application. I found the amount ridiculous for the price and yeah, I didn't like it. I, it was ordinary. And for, for that price it was nothing remarkable. So I decluttered that. I tried the um, highlighter, it was a big de gelée highlighter with a pearl from last holiday collection, I decluttered that as well. I was attracted by the packaging but it was not a nice idea. Uh, it was all packaging and the product itself, I found the texture not, di not different from what for example MAC can offer at much lower prices. I mean, baked de gelée highlighters are quite common now. And then I tried a few of the luminescent eye shades. Um, those are actually my favorite product by Shantekai. Uh, I think the quality is high and I like the combination of the colors. Yeah, I found that some of the colors were uh, similar to Pat McGrath, but um, these were more wearable because more desaturated sometimes. So with a higher degree of gray and uh, you know they were neutralized, so that I could wear more colors and still uh, being a bit conservative. So I like the use of uh, the eye shades. Uh, the problem with these shades were was the price. They are around 55 euros here, and also the finish. Um, a few it was not consistent. So um, some of the shades are smoother. For example, giraffe that I still have in my collection, and I think is worth the the splurge if you like a rich brown color, and you want to invest in this formula. And, um, but there are some other colors that were either a little bit mm, too simple to justify the splurge, and I'm referring to Zebra, one of the newer shades. Um, zebra I purchased because it was new, and that is a mistake. Sometimes new is not the best. Sometimes the older shades are the best because they're more curated. Zebra I found a little bit flat as a color, not really special. And um, I, decluttered, I decluttered Zebra and I decluttered Rhinoceros because it was an amazing shade uh, described as sophisticated olive, but it was too glittery for my taste. Uh, the glitter uh, fell off. Uh, I needed to remember myself to use a primer. So the two shades that I still have in my collection are Pangolin, that is glittery, but I like that color so much that I, uh, I decided to keep it. And um, besides Pangolin, that is the must-have in my opinion, also Giraffe. And the other one that I'm intrigued to try is a Cheetah, uh, but I can't I, I can't justify spending so much money for a champagne shade. However, every time I see it, I like the wet effect it gives. So the effect on the eyes is very pretty. 
maybe one day if it is on sale. So these are my opinions and my take on this new collection by Shantikai. If you needed to be told that you don't need this collection, <laughs> this was your chance. See you in my next video. Bye bye.